puzzled by the crew's account of the incident on board flight 6780. Investigators turned to the cockpit voice recorder for answers. It will answer many questions as to why things were happening the way they were and how the crew were working together and interacting together. Aberdeen Ground 6780 taxiing on whiskey for parking stand 7. But something's not right. Aberdeen. Now, this is from when they landed back at Aberdeen. Right, can you stop it and go back to the top and play the game, please? Aberdeen Ground 6780 taxiing on whiskey for parking stand 7. That's all there is. Well, that's not going to help us very much now, is it? The CDR has recorded over the critical moments of the flight. It's a major setback for the investigation. Right, this is what we know so far. The lightning struck, the autopilot disconnected, they had control problems. Then the plane did a nosedive. Well, let's review the data. Mm. Will the data recorder provide the answers they need to solve this case? Flight data recorders often add a, a level of detail that simply can't be gained from, from the witnesses themselves. And, and crucially, quite often the information that's gathered from a recording device uh, offers a slightly different perspective to what we might get from personal recollections. Stop. This is where the lightning struck at 2,000 feet. Right, and then for the next two and a half minutes, there's a slow, uneven climb to 4,000 feet. And then they are in a very steep nosedive, 20 seconds towards the North Sea. What were the pilots doing to recover from the dive? Look at the control column data. Right after the lightning struck, the crew pulled back on the control column to pitch the nose up. The FDR data confirms the pilots were tackling a control problem. But why? The captain said they were also applying pitch trim. Pitch trim moves the tail elevators up and down to maintain the pitch of the aircraft. Can we take a look at the pitch trim data, please? Right. Investigators make a puzzling discovery. Look at that. And the elevators are trying to get the nose to pitch down instead of up. After the lightning strike, some unknown force was fighting the pilot's inputs to both the control column and the pitch trim. The crew said the lightning struck, the autopilot disconnected, and then they had control problems. Right. Could we take a look at the autopilot data, please? Finally, the team zeroes in on the answer. The autopilot was on almost the entire time. Investigators discover that after the lightning strike, the pilots were in a tug of war with the plane. So we then had to look at why did the crew misunderstand the status of the aircraft? 